signed up for a vegetable delivery box. This place is called Front Porch Pickings and once a week they deliver farm fresh, local fruits and vegetables and other little goodies like local homemade bread to your front door. And it comes every Thursday. This is my first box and I am just really excited about it. I'm really excited to get a little box once a week that I get to open up and see what's inside. It's like, feels like Christmas. <laughs> um, maybe I'm just like a nerd for fruits and vegetables, but I am just really excited about it and I'm excited to be supporting local farms and it's, you know, more sustainable to get things locally instead of having them shipped from all over the country and all over the world. And it's just great. It's great that they bring it to your front door and that you're eating seasonally. I'm really excited to get seasonal produce and yeah, that's about it. Let's open it up. I'm really excited to open it up and I can't wait any longer. So first thing right on top, we have bagels. They look and smell like they are everything bagels and it's my favorite kind of bagel and I'm really excited about it. I don't know what bakery they're from. I have to look it up, but something, some local bakery and I'm excited about those. And then we get into the box, open it up, and right on top here, there's a little card that says, Courtney, thank you for becoming a Front Porch Pickings member. Your business means the world to us. A cute little card. That's the logo for the company. And I have a little business card, which if I refer a friend, I think the friend gets $10 and I get a $10 credit, so maybe I'll put this in the description so that if um, anyone is in the North Florida area uh, that wants to look into this can look into it. And this I'm excited for. I don't know if we get it like once a month or whatever, but it's an edible Northeast Florida magazine that I picked up from a couple other restaurants and stuff here and there and it just has like little recipes and stuff about local businesses and uh it just the pictures are really nice and anyway so if we get that every once in a while uh that's exciting <laughs> and then this is just something about the company locally focused socially responsible woman owned that's cool sustainably sourced. We work only with farms we trust and are dedicated to providing sustainably sourced products and ethically treated meats. Yeah, so that's another thing is I guess you can get like meats and cheeses and a bunch of stuff, whatever you want. Very cool. All right, now let's see what we have. <laughs> Why am I so excited for this? All right, right on top here in plastic bags, which isn't ideal, but oh well. Um, we have a bag of kale and we have a bag of lettuce. Maybe I'll pick it out for you. I don't know. Oh, so these are just some hydroponic lettuce and kale. That's great. You can always use leafy greens. All right, next I have a little carton of white acre peas. I don't know what I'll do with those. Gotta figure it out. Ooh, a mango. What kind of mango, which is actually my favorite fruit. Oh, I wanna figure out where they grew this because it's a very tropical fruit. We are in Florida though, so. All right, we've got a melon, a cantaloupe. Yummy. We've got three pears. They left the leaves on one of them so that you know that they're fresh. <laughs> I got three pears. That's yummy. How many times can I say yummy in this video? We've got a butternut squash. That'll be fun to do something with. Maybe I can put it in like a curry or something. We've got two peaches. Yeah. Bryce's favorite fruit. Wow. We got my favorite fruit and Bryce's favorite fruit. That's fun. We've got three apples, green apples. That's always good to have. 
We've got one lone green bell pepper. <laughs> That's funny to just have one. But I have other ones in the fridge, so just add it to that. And then we've got a bag of okra. Yum. See, this is really exciting because like I would never go to the grocery store and buy okra. And you know, you just get in like your routines of what you buy at the store and what you make during the week. And I'm really excited that this is gonna make me like step out of my comfort zone and cook with things that I don't typically cook with. So here's okra. This is just three of them. There's a whole bag. <laughs> I think Bryce will be excited about those. And then last but not least, I've got a jar of honey from Bee Friends Farm. Looks like it is palmetto honey. Saw palmetto honey. All natural raw honey. And this is exciting because I've been wanting to get some honey and I didn't want to just buy um, like your standard like mass produced honey. I wanted to get something local and you know, so that the bees are treated nicely and, you know, I don't know, you can just trust it. So, excited about this. And that is everything. It's empty. And then this box, they reuse. So you put it back on your doorstep when they bring your next delivery and I, they take this with them and they reuse it, which is good. And oh, there's a list. There's a list on the side of everything that we got. Kent mango. Let me know if this is interesting to you. I am really excited about it. I'm excited to open up my box every week and see what kind of goodies I get. But let me know if making a video out of it is exciting or just boring because um, I could be wrong about the excitement part of it. It could just be me. <laughs> but I think it could be kind of cool to throw up a video maybe once a week or every other week or maybe just once a month if it's not that exciting um, and just show you what I got in my little farm box. <laughs> it also could be interesting because I will be cooking with the stuff that I get in the box every week and it could be kind of fun to see what I end up doing with the ingredients that I get. So anyway, let me know if this is fun and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.